Hi guys, welcome to Art with Mr. Rowe, uh, your first art lesson from Cass with no children, which is a bit strange for me. Um, what you're going to be doing this week is collage. So, I've got a collection of stuff here uh, from recycling, uh, old newspapers, magazines and things like that. What I've started to do is cut things out of them. So, as you can see here, I've got red things, orange things, yellow things, green things, blue things and purple things. Um, when you're cutting things out, if you have a look, there are some things that you'll see that have got beautiful patterns on. Patterns are great. You can either choose to cut out the whole object. I quite like this ironing board so that can stay on there. And that's going to go into my blue pile. Because I like the whole ironing board, I think it's nice. That can go there. Um, but there are other things like, for example, I do like this fish, Finding Nemo. But I don't want the fish, I want some of this because it's green. So I'm just going to cut out a square of that and put it in my green pile. Um, it might help if you've got some envelopes at home to keep these things in, because you might want to do this over the period of a week. Um, magazines are really, really good. So if you see anything in there that you like, it could be a word. But the important thing is to think about the colours that you've got. Um, collage is actually just sticking things on with, uh, down to paper. So, once you've got your collection of things, you can start sticking them into your sketchbook. So, over here, I've got mine that I started uh, this morning. And I have actually got a page for each one now. You could use one page for each one. So you could start off on this page and have a red page. This page be your orange page. I've chosen to make a concertina book out of it, which you could do if you want to stick pieces of paper together. Quite easy. I think as a rule of thumb, I wouldn't make your objects bigger than about five centimetres because otherwise you're going to run out of room. You could go on to do a double page if you wanted to, if you had a lot of blue for example, or you like orange in particular, you can do that. The important thing is, choose. Have you got an object? Cut it out, stick it in as an object, or have you got a pattern, something like that, where you've got lots of stripes on that one. All right. But once you've got your things, you can start arranging them on your page. And I would like to see if you could fill up uh, one page for each colour by the end of this week. Okay? Right, if you've got any questions, you can email me. Uh, and uh, if you don't have any questions, I hope you're all doing well. And stay safe.